Good morning, East Texas. I'm Melissa McTee, and this is your TylerPaper.com morning news update. The trial of James Calvert on capital murder charges is expected to begin today in Judge Jack Skeen's Smith County courtroom. For the past nearly 12 months, a lot of the attention in the case has been focused on Calvert's behavior in the courtroom. He is serving as his own attorney despite not having a legal background. We thought we'd take you back to the afternoon of October 31st, 2012 for a reminder of just what Calvert is being tried for. We're on the scene of breaking news this afternoon. We're outside of a residence at Bain and Amherst. We know now that a 20, uh, woman in her late 20s who lived there has been shot to death. Her four-year-old son, Lucas, has been kidnapped. They say the suspect is her ex-husband, James Calvert. That's right. They're saying that James Calvert came to this location uh, shortly after lunch today, uh, the noon hour today, and uh, gunned down his ex-wife. Now, police say witnesses heard multiple shots. Uh, they did see the, the man taking the child, uh, Lucas, from this location. They said that the child was wearing gray sweatpants, a long blue uh, sweatshirt, sandals, and has caps on his teeth. Now, we have pictures on our website of the child and of James Calvert. Uh, police are saying, of course, that this man is considered armed and dangerous. Very they dangerous. are working at this time right now to get an Amber Alert issued statewide. Kenneth, uh, they also had some information about the vehicle that Mr. Calvert may be driving. That's right. They said it was a 2004 gray Buick LeSabre with a license plate number of DP4G858. Yep. Now, police say if you see that vehicle, don't just turn around and call police. If you can follow at a safe distance, Call police, keep that vehicle in your sight yeah. so that you can uh, lead police to them so they can get this situation resolved. Yeah, and we understand at this point that the uh, the father, James Coward, is not in custody. So no, he's they not in some custody. Eyes to try to locate him. That's right. Police have actually gone to several locations. Police told us just a few moments ago that those uh, leads did not pan out. Yeah. So this man is still on the loose. Now, a couple had another child, yes. and. Uh, Police have secured that child. That child is in police custody now. Yeah, um, he attended Andy Woods, which is actually just a few blocks down the road. The police told us they, they went and got that child, and they know he is safe. We're, we're learning a little bit about the relationship of the victim uh, with her ex-husband. That's correct. I talked to the, the woman's pastor just yes. a short while ago, and he told me that just two weeks ago, he and others were in a Smith County courtroom in a custody it's battle, custody uh, and uh, the young woman actually won custody custody in that situation. So, you know, one could surmise that maybe this is a result of that custody battle just two weeks ago here in Smith County. You also had an opportunity to talk to the woman's pastor. He was saying that this woman is really loved among the congregation. She is very loved among the congregation. She actually worked in their day out program, yeah. worked with the children, uh, and on her days off, she would just walk down the road, actually, to just visit with people at the church, which is just a block away. Now, the pastor did say that this is one of their mission houses. So this is yeah. church property here, and uh, the young woman was living in it with her new husband, right. I believe. That uh, pastor was visibly shaken. He says that congregations, this is going to be some very tough news for them to take. He said, that, you know, the first thing is first, they have to grieve, and then they'll, grieve. Go, they'll move on from there. But they are going to be very supportive to this young woman's husband and uh, the children uh, and, and do what yeah. they can for them. Kenneth, what, what is still going on behind us. Well, uh, as you can see behind us, a uh, crime scene is actually in the carport. Now, that's where the, the woman's body is located. Yeah. Police say that she was gunned down in the carport there. Uh, so they are, of course, going to be processing this crime scene. This is relatively still new. Yes. This road will be blocked off for hours. So there's a police uh, motor home that's just been brought in. Uh, there, as you can see, the whole block is cordoned off. Uh, motorcycle police officers are a block in each direction. Uh, this whole area is blocked off as a crime scene. We, we also know that uh, police have been uh, speaking to witnesses who saw That's correct. this abduction That's take correct. place. Uh, again, we want to say that that uh, license plate, that vehicle's description is a 2004 gray Buick LeSabre with the license plate DP4G858. James Calvert, he is considered armed and extremely dangerous. We know how dangerous yes. he has already used that weapon. Uh, once today. Calvert was captured in Louisiana without incident and his son was not injured. We'll keep you updated on what's happening at the trial here at TylerPaper.com.